What is the latest and the greatest with, with uh? You already know what the hot topic is. With uh, the Diddy. Ooh. Ooh. Diddy. That's What's the, the latest topic? and the greatest, the man? Diddler. Diddy. The Diddler is the hottest topic on the planet right now. What have y'all been seeing, man? The What's the latest and the greatest? The who? Diddy. Oh. oh let me let me show you this. This is what I saw today. I'll say this one right here. This is a lot to read. It's about Diddy. If you don't want to read it all, I'll give you the summary. What this all means is O-M-F-G D-I-D-D-Y. Tony Busby, one of the nation's best lawyers. And what he does is he takes cases for free. You don't pay him, he'll take your case. And then he's gonna go out and investigate it and try to win it for big money. How's he been doing? I think this man has made billions of dollars at this point. I know he's made hundreds of millions. He might be into the B's. And here's what he's saying. He's saying that he represents 50 victims of the freak offs. And, and here's where it gets scary hours for Team Diddy. He's saying that it includes minors. He's saying that we expect a group of people seeking justice to grow. He's saying he expects other individuals will be implicated. He's saying there's gonna be a press conference next week. He's saying it's up and it's stuck on P. Diddy. If this man Diddy ever even looked at you funny, you can call Tony Busby. Yeah, shit, call me. We'll call Tony Busby together. This is very scary because lawyers like Mr. Busby make their money by spending lots of money investigating and uncovering facts and information about powerful individuals like P. Diddy. And so now this guy's on your ass with 50, some minors, and maybe more on the way. That's terrible. It's up and it's stuck. But That's terrible. That, why would he even like pre, pre post it? Like, if you got that, why would you even write some stuff and post it? If you got that, you would just drop it. That's a for sure. A for sure win if you really got that. You know, my thing just personally is annoying was where was all this energy for Harvey Weinstein, man? Right. That's a good niggas question. Was, niggas was just sitting there like, damn, that's crazy what he was doing. Yeah. He was bragging about walking up, grabbing one of the biggest niggas in Hollywood by his wee-wee and shit. Oh, Terry Crews. Yeah. Nigg and niggas was like, I, niggas wasn't making memes. Niggas wasn't making <sighs> jokes, animated cartoons, none of that. Like, you didn't see people going deep into the case. Besides CNN, but Nigga, I don't know, man. This it's, shit. A, it's a simple answer for that. We don't right. give a fuck about Harvey Weinstein. Nobody knows who the fuck he is. I don't give is. a fuck about Diddy. No, like, we do care about Diddy. Diddy was part of our childhood growing up. Like, no so I'm saying Diddy. that's why it connects to us. Nobody knows Harvey Weinstein. Like before the trial, who who was speaking about Harvey Weinstein from the culture? Who was walking around using Harvey Weinstein's name in their raps? Who was doing that? Like they was using Trump. That's why everybody knows Trump. Trump. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nobody was talking about Harvey Weinstein. But also, they was also trying to cover up as much as possible for Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, they were. Because yeah. cause that shit, that nigga is connected to so many fucking big wig movies. Like, they were trying to clean and... Not only connected to big wig movies, niggas, people... Them yeah. niggas ain't doing this shit by themselves. Nah, nah, none of them are. They got other niggas in these other offices that's just as big mm, that's doing, doing the, the same, same shit. shit. They but just quiet, more quieter about that's it. That's why they was covering it up. Because they're like, if they look too much at this thing, <laughs> they gonna yeah. come to it knocking on my door. <laughs> it's the same shit with the Diddy shit. It's like, yeah. nigga, he ain't in these parties by himself. Hell no. There's other people that ain't nobody, know. Ain't nobody been coming out speaking on Diddy either. That's crazy. No, they like, on like his behalf. Nobody. Oh, on his no, behalf. No, no, yeah, like, no. I know... If, People have been removing themselves, if nah, anything. They have. That's crazy. Like, people have been backing up yeah. off of so, him. Like, that's I wanna, how I wanna, he is. Niggas wanna, act like they don't know me. So, look, this is what I want to ask y'all. Why y'all feel like folks been doing that? Like, why ain't nobody came out and said, hold on? No, ain't no. Besides Stevie J. Because they think. know. It's either, some, they it's know, either right? some truth behind it. It's some truth behind Or yeah. they don't. They. They what? got history of where Diddy did him wrong or Diddy. Nah. That's, One, they yeah. not going against the machine. Yeah. yeah. Two, they probably didn't took part in some of that shit. Yeah. Bro, listen, I, I, I explain it like listen, this. I explain it like this. Thing. It's like when you have a friend group, you know everybody's actions in certain situations. Mm -hmm. So, okay, when it's a party, we know Fred gonna wanna beat niggas up. Freaky gonna be on the bitches. Wow. Rio's gonna be chilling. Mark gonna be on the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah. all know. So this is in these industry parties. You These niggas, this has been for years. Yeah, everybody yeah. know when did he get drunk? <laughs> what is it, 30 years? <laughs> Like 30 years. Yeah. It's something going down. Yeah. Well, did, he, yeah. well, did he get off coke? <laughs> so now when it's the shit come down. out and it hit the yeah. fan, niggas like, tootsie. I knew it was only a matter of time. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he sure. be wilding. Yeah. So you can't stand by it because you know. You know what's going right? down. You yeah, know it's yeah. been. Hey, shout out to you for watching that clip. Now be sure to smash the like and download Underdog Fantasy.
All you have to do is pick higher or lower on players and you can win big. If you want to make some extra cash and have more fun while you watch sports, download Underdog and get up to a thousand times bonus cash. Just use my code, Ace Boys.